we could lose a generation or more of turtles. And unfortunately, this problem is only going to grow. Baby sea turtles hatch and make their way to the ocean. And they're swim, swim, swimming, swimming, swimming. But sometimes storms push the babies back onto the beach. And they all definitely have their own individual personalities. Those on Northeast Florida beaches are taken to the UF Whitney Marine Lab in Flagler County for rehab. So this is just an antibiotic injection. Kat Eastman is the program director there. If they die in our care, we perform a necropsy, which is an autopsy on an animal. Can I have a gauze? So it is like a CSI of what did this turtle eat? Those necropsies started revealing something scary. Notch to notch, 6.3. She found plastic, bits of plastic, and that sort of, okay, let's try another one. And then, lo and behold, it kind of just blew up from there. Baby sea turtle after baby sea turtle had plastic in their digestive systems, sometimes one piece. As many as, I believe, 276 pieces. 276 pieces of plastic and one baby sea turtle. 93% of the baby sea turtles they examined had plastic in their guts. And this is hard plastic, soft plastic, latex, sheet material. So Eastman, Dr. David Duffy, and their colleagues started to document this and published a study. Scientists around the world know that animals and larger sea turtles are ingesting plastic. This all came from a single individual. But this study showed baby sea turtles were eating it too. Well, that says we have a real problem. We didn't realize that there was this vulnerable age class that was almost all individuals are, are now being affected. For Eastman, this hits home. So when you know that these turtles have come from Florida somewhere, it's not an, well, not in my backyard kind of problem. That is a Florida problem. The sight of so many babies clogged full of plastic pieces. It really motivated me. I mean, it made me angry. Angry because that plastic comes from us. Independent research has shown that there's about 11 million tons of plastic entering the ocean every year. You know, it's one thing to just sort of speak about this plastic problem, but it's another when you're like, well, what do we do now? This is here. We don't have the evidence yet to be able to say plastic is killing them, but it's pretty clear that it's, it's not a good thing, and we're seeing a lot of the turtles that don't make it have a lot of plastic ingested. It's not just sea turtles at risk. Plastic has now been found in birds, fish, and humans. We've got to like give up this love affair with plastic. We've got to make a change because it's hitting everybody. And if baby sea turtles are encountering plastic, what's the chance of them growing old enough to make more baby sea turtles? Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.